is uh, afternoon, Terry and everyone at Liverpool winning the Premier League. One stop. One stop City would have won six. Would have won six all. It, if we hadn't won the league titles when we done it, City would have won six. Oh, we six in a row. Yeah. They could. I mean, City, you're, my, you're my favorites now. You're my, you're my, and I did want to ask this question. It kind of segues in nicely. Is this the greatest title race ever? I've seen that question posed a lot on the mainstream media and a lot of places at the minute. Is it the greatest title race ever? And who are the favorites? I, I want to go to, I'm going to throw this to Staffy first because he's got no dog in this race. Um, is it the greatest title race you can remember or ever? And who do you think are the favorites now after this epic weekend? Is it the greatest ever? I, I need to think about this because I'm obviously going to be biased and I'm going to try to go back and see at the, the title races that United have won and probably pick one of these. Like, yeah, that was probably the greatest. Um, I know people haven't been used to three horse races for a while, but back in the day, there was a lot of three horse races. Usually Arsenal would drop off a little bit too, uh, a little bit too early, but it used to be a race up until at least February, something like that, you know. But they would always drop off in the in, in after after Christmas and January period and all that. Um, so I'm gonna hold off on answering that question. But is it a good title race? It is a very good title race. And who do I think is the favorites? I just don't want City to win. If I'm being honest with you, I used my logic to who I would want to win. Um, ranked from bad to worse because all of them are bad scenarios for us. You know, Don will probably tell you the same thing, and Kate will tell you the same thing. We all have different uh, ranks to who we would rather prefer to win. Uh, I think the the worst one would be City because I mean, honestly they're just making a mockery out of this league at this point. Um, how many would it be right now? Six in the last seven, four in a row. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see that, do I? You know, and Terry, you made a very good point. I mean, if they do four in a row, what is the likelihood of, of us, any of us here? having one of our teams eventually be good enough to win four in a row mm. or even five in a row to to one up them, you know, so they're definitely the last on my list. I'd rather Arsenal win. I've said that before. And I say it again, even though people like to say I'm an Arsenal hater here, uh, you're my least hated team from the three. Because uh, worst case scenario of Arsenal win the league, I'll just put my phone on flight mode and I don't have to see no more EGAL TikToks or any of that. <laughs> but if City win, there's records on the line. If Liverpool win, they tie our 20 league titles, which is not as bad as four because we can eventually win one and then go up on them again. But um, I, I'd rather Arsenal win it. But if I'm being honest and objective, who is the favorite? It's very hard for me to tell. Everyone has very good reasons why I think they're the favorite. It, it's Liverpool City. to it's me City. are just... I, I'll tell you why. 100% it's City. Listen, City to me, I mean, I just saw them yesterday myself. So it's not like I'm no stranger to watching City games. They're an absolute machine. They won three in a row. They have all the motives to make it four in a row. They have the best manager in the world. Anyone who would think that they're not the favorites is a little bit illogical. But Liverpool are doing stuff that I haven't seen from them in a while. They're not winning games pretty. They're not winning games with their full squad. They're not winning games convincingly. Most most times, I would say, they're not, in my, in my opinion. But they're winning. And they've only had one convincing defeat this season, which is to Arsenal because they got absolutely outclassed by Arteta and Arsenal that day. Other than that, I haven't really seen them play bad and just, just lose too many games. They only have two losses in the league so far, which just shows me like what happens when Salah's back and fit, what happens in Sabosla is back and fit, and Trent is back and fit, and everyone who's been out and injured is back and fit. It's just it's something that worries me. But also Arsenal, listen, I'm not disrespecting Arsenal. I'm not dismissing Arsenal. Uh, there seems to be an obsession every time I come here. People ask me who's better, Rice or Basuma. Let it go. That's that's the best what's for you. Focus on your title lace. Don't focus on my opinions on rice because uh, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. But Arsenal have a very good team and they're pretty healthy right now. They've been in a good run bar the Porto, Porto game. And listen, they want redemption for what they did last year, which is bottling the league after going 93% of the way. So they all have very good reasons. But I'm going to stick with City if you ask me who's the favorite because mm. I, I just can't dismiss the, the 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 champions after three years and now they have a record to break. Pep Guardiola just wants to break that record. You could tell he wants to break every Fergie record in this in this uh, in this country. And this is one more that's in reach right now. So why not? Mm. I, I, I know, just real that... quick. Hey, go on, go before, on. I mean, because of that, I've got to head off soon. But I think this is the real, re reality here, which is City are the favorites. Let's just keep it a stack. They have the squad. They have the players. They are the favourites and City know that because this could be the definitive month, which is the game against Arsenal and the game against Liverpool. 
I really feel that people are sort of discounting Arsenal. It's mathematically a three-horse race, but I think people are like Pep, Klopp, Liverpool, City, let's run, run it back, and they're focused there. And Arsenal are just the third who are just like, let's keep winning, let's keep winning, let's keep winning. So where I am with Arsenal is prove me wrong. So people say, oh man, you hate, you hate Arsenal. You were top for 93% of the time and you dropped the, the ball. So the way that Arsenal wet the bed last season, I don't have faith that Arsenal have the talents. I just don't feel they have the character or the mentality to, to win it. Because I think when the pressure mounts, they will fold. So I need Arsenal to prove to me that keep winning, maintain a winning record up until that City game, and let's see what you do against City. Because if Arsenal maintain a winning record and they beat City at the Etihad, we're having a different converse. So as of right now, I need Arsenal to keep winning and then beat City at the Etihad. Or, no, no, they have to beat City. No, not a draw. They have to beat them. Because if Arsenal beat them, I'll take it seriously. But as of right now, my eyes are on Liverpool and City, but let's keep it a stack. City are the other, fav- other, other, other favourites because they have the squad, they have the players that neither Liverpool or Arsenal have. So, uh, My favourite right now is Liverpool. And I just say that, although we, I know we had a bit of banter talking about the way they won the game, but the fact they got through these last 11 days, and I know they weren't all Premier League games, but they won them all. The fact that for the last two months, they've pretty much been without their best player, goal scorer, Mohamed Salah, because of injury and AFCON. And the fact that they have maintained their advantage at the top, their winning mentality, the way they have got through. I've seen so many clubs, including City, by the way, who, when they haven't won league titles in the last four or five years, have blamed it on an injury or two. The fact they have persevered through all of that, they remain on top. No matter how good or bad they play, they seem to always win. I just feel like Liverpool are just... Even when I watched City yesterday, City, City are better than Man United by a country mile. But we still had 10 counter-attacking opportunities against them. Now, we only produced two shots from those, but that was because of bad final balls. And I actually made a decision. Every time we counter-attack, I wrote down the minute and what happened in it. And most of the time, Garnacho or, or mainly McTominay didn't find the player with the ball. But Liverpool's and Villas and Tottenham's and Arsenal's would kill them in, in those circumstances if it was to happen. where I just see Liverpool... And Arsenal are actually the better footballing team out of all, all of them right now. Liverpool, Arsenal are playing the better football and their defence is the, the most strongest. They do not get penetrated against as much. They don't get broken down as easily. But I've just got this feeling that Liverpool are going to rise to the top. And I think a lot of it had to do with this farewell party. I think it's it's galvanised them in such a way. And I mean it. I'm not talking about the referees or the Premier League helping. I'm talking about the galvanisation of this squad, the coming together. And I saw this when, when Fergie pretty late in the season announced he was leaving, it made us an even better team. It made us an even better team. After we won the league, we just kind of, it was party time, but it made us an even better side. And I just think that's what it's done. I think Klopp's announcement, there were some Liverpool fans that thought, well, this could upset the apple cart. I think he's had the adverse effect. I think it's, it's made them better. I, I don't know what you think, Rory, like as a goon looking at it with the way Liverpool won at the weekend, their recent form. Is it, is it changed your view on who the favourites are or do you still have City or, or Arsenal above them? Yeah, no, I've still got City as the favourites. I, I think until City are out of it, they've got to be the favourites. I think Liverpool, the way they're playing, like it does remind me a little bit of Arsenal last season in terms of it, it's not sustainable. Like You can't keep getting away with it. And Tom's absolutely fuming at that, but uh, the the truth the truth can sometimes you know. Hurt. No, but I, I, think I, 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 I made... disagree though. I, I disagree. I, I think this is just us looking. The squad we played yesterday is probably never going to play again. It if was you Gomez lose to City next week. Gomez at the um, If we lose against City next week, we're in trouble. That that's where it can go wrong. But we can afford. The, my my thing is now we can afford to draw against them by virtue of the fact you've got to play them at the Etihad. So at least one is dropping points there. If you didn't have to play City anymore, we have to win every game. I can't let it go to chance. But because you've got to play City, there's the element that I've got a little bit of room potentially. But in terms of sustainability, we've we've been scoring three, four goals pretty much every game until we've had to play Gomez and Clark. I, I don't get this idea that we suddenly... It, it's been said this whole season we're, we're unsustainable. But that, it's not going to because... last... Yeah, just, because there, I, I there still have been quite a few games. I think through a lot of the season, there have still been games where you've just not looked... You've looked vulnerable, um, even with when you were at full strength. I remember, was it Fulham that you came back? 
um, late on with a couple of goals. Like, I, I, for me, I just think City are the dominant force and they are the favourites until they almost mathematically can't win it. So I think Arsenal are up there mm. with, with the best team in form. Um, but City have been there, done it. They've got the players that have been there and done it. And so for me, they're the favourites. In terms of it being the best title race ever, I think it's... I, I think it's got the potential to be. I just think we're too early. Like we're still in a position yeah. where C- City could beat Liverpool and mm. Arsenal within the next month, and if either of us drop any more points around that, then City just cruise it and you go, oh, that fizzled if, out. Really if, if you if you if you didn't have a, if you didn't have to play City the Etihad, I'd have Arsenal as probably the favourites just because well, got, of the the oh. way everything's going at the minute, the way he's playing, the momentum he's have got. You look ridiculous mm. numbers wise. You've got so much confidence. It's just the fact that you've got to go to the Etihad, and Pep doesn't mess around in these sort of games. I'm not saying that they're going to smash you, but I could easily see that one being a draw. And then all of a sudden, the momentum swings again. But if it was just like replace City with, you've got to play, I don't know, a, a, a Chelsea or something, you probably win this title because you are just flying in the league at the minute. The football and everything is ridiculously good. It's just how much, let's say you do struggle in that game at the Etihad. Is this squad ready to bounce back straight away off that and put it behind them? Or is that going to be the one where, because of the time of the season it's in, because of what the lead table could like to go, again, it's happened again. It's just our luck, this, that, and they get down on themselves. That's the one thing that will always go against Arsenal. Us and City have shown Mm. that we can get over the line. Arsenal haven't. It's on, like have hope said, it's on you to prove us wrong. And Tom, just to go back to that point that Rory said about how sustainable is it, yeah? Rory, we're we're now in March, yeah. We're now in March, yeah. Arsenal the way got they to play, March. The, Arsenal the got way, to March. I, I know, I know, I know what you're saying, bro. But the way they play is high risk but high reward, right? Most of the time, they're gonna outscore you. You're always gonna get chances against Liverpool because they play a high line, and this is the Premier League, right? But the main thing that I spoke about before in terms of how sustainable they can be is because of their lack of a DM. But Endo, bro, that guy's improved massively. That I call him a Tom. I call him a little ninja. You know what I'm saying? That Wembley. He was your best player, bro. He plays like a ninja. You know what I'm saying? He's very good. You, so, you, you wish you'd bought him. You wish you had him. Hell no. Hell no. But Don. I think he's improved massively, yeah. But what it is what it is with them is that, th- that th- the way they play, they outscore teams because of, because of how they are in front of goal. And like I said, they've got a winning manager who's got that mentality. And like, like Terry's already said, they've got that, um, that, that uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They've got that incentive. That's it. They've got the incentive now of, of seeing Klopp out in, in a... You know, and, and seeing him out after all this hard work of of you know, not beating Pep after all these challenges and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think Liverpool are going to push you guys all the way in it. For me, it, it's going to be tight. I do think that Arsenal will probably finish second, in my opinion. The only thing of Arsenal is just your mentality, man. It's just your mentality. That's the only thing like, that's going to let you down. What's, what's going to happen when you go to the Etihad? Are you guys going to crumble the way you did when you finally played away um, in the round of 16 against Porto? That's the main thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you've got some talented players, but it's the mentality. But Liverpool, I don't think Liverpool are just going to fall off, man, in my but opinion. But the, the, the whole, that's almost like my point. The high risk, high reward is that by the nature of high risk, high reward, you take the risk enough times, eventually you don't get the reward. And that's what Arsenal were last season. And we sacrificed a lot of that this season to have more control. So that is kind of why I think at some point... I, I, like, I would ultimately say in that case, though, it's because we have better individual quality. And I don't mean that as Arsenal have a, a crap team, but we have... Game change in the sense that we have a goalkeeper who just defies goalkeeper metrics. We have a centre back who is the best in, in, in the world. We have a we have a winger who can lead both charts in terms of goals and assists and pop in the big moments. Because numbers wise, he should be third, but numbers don't take into account that Allison's a freak or that Van Dijk is a leader or that Trent can just do all this mad stuff. That's the difference. We this is effectively how we have been. Do we rely on? I'll say we probably rely on individual brilliance more so than most teams. Who who would compete for the title? Certainly more than you do. You are an oil machine that sometimes the chances can fall to anyone because of how you're set up. We are more chaotic. We rely more on individual brilliance. Mm. But that's what you do when uh, you I, yeah, when you I have the plays that we do. You, you have I like a top that. two player in. So, sorry, Rory. I was going to say just to add on that that you have a top two player in a, a few positions. Like Allison is arguably one or two. Salah one or two. I mean Salah is one. Let me just say that. Van Dijk one or two probably is one. Trent mm-hmm. one or two. That you, you just need need a nail on the head there. You're not a system team like 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 uh like Arsenal is or, or City is because you have too many individual brilliance, which is actually more impressive in my opinion, because you're going against two very very well 
old machines, if I, if I should say. You're the one team that you don't look at them and you're like, yo, this guy's a system player. This guy's a system player. He wouldn't thrive here. He wouldn't thrive here. You're going to go. You're going against, in my opinion, better drill teams, but you're you're pushing them all the way, which is why when these youngsters are coming in and playing next to experience like Van Dyke and them on the pitch, they're still looking good because they can thrive around the brilliance around them more than just getting like simple tactics and know your role in the in the team and that's it. You don't step out of your your the, the role that you're given. So I agree with it. No, I yeah, I look. I just think City are the favourites. I don't think Liverpool are going to fall off. I just think if I'm looking at either of those teams, who's going to you know draw a couple of games that they should win? I think it's more likely to be Liverpool. The only other thing I got to jump off. The only other thing I'd say is I don't think Liverpool have shown that they've got the mentality in a title race because the one season they won, there wasn't an intense title race, and the only times they have been in a title race, like a proper title race, they've actually lost it to City. So I don't buy the mentality thing for Liverpool. At the moment. Anyway, I'm out. Goodbye. Cheers, mate. Thank you.